Welcome back, folks. Champion of the Fog. We're in for round number three, last round of the day. And it's going to be six versus a team that doesn't quite fit on the page anymore. It's called Goth Boy Click. Have you heard of this team? <laughs> I've never heard uh, of this. No, I only know a couple of the players on the team, too. I, I don't recognize some of these people. So this will be uh, interesting to see. Very interesting. I, I appreciate the creativity in the name but that's yeah. a mouthful i'm gonna call you gbc for now fair enough i mean I, it is a nice it is a nice change from the uh, usual pain and suffering names that we see in comp true i mean don't get me wrong it's it's a classic ring to some of them you know oracle agony but goth boy click just hits different so yeah fair enough with that said we'll see what they're made of as they go against six and we're gonna be on i actually forget the map we're going to right it's the wrath. shrine of wrath and none other than Nurse to play with a beautiful Corrupt. Looks like it's going to be, is that a Forgen spot? No, no, it's a 3-Gen, okay. Yeah, 3-1-3 one, three is uh, the usual you see on this map. The Forgen happens rarely, but when it does, it's, it's pretty cool. The Forgen, I just feel bad for survivors when the Forgen occurs. With I, Nurse, I, I, absolutely. It hurts. Hmm? Yeah, with Nurse, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, like, Unless like if, if the if the fortune is not corrupted, then maybe. But I, I don't know. However, despite that, nurse not able to find anybody off the bat. It is a split corrupt, so maybe spawning in that singular corrupt gen in the corner. Yeah, having a hard time finding survivors. This is a very easy map to stealth out on too. True, true. Dead dog saloon into the pit here. <laughs> Yeah, they're not finding anybody. We're about a minute into the corrupt zone. They do find that Felix, though. Felix has been outed and is going to hold W for as long as possible here. They actually got some good distance yeah. there on that fatigue. Yeah, it is so weird to see Nurse Chase without any music, I gotta say. Yeah, we had this problem yesterday, too. I don't know what it is. Just good old spectator bug, then, I suppose. Yeah, but yeah. Quick down here for the Nurse. Very fast down. Must be first up coming yeah. in. Now this is three quarters of the way through the corrupt, so these survivors did a good job uh, mm -hmm. with that. But uh, we'll see how, what the gen progress looks like here, especially with uh, this nurse getting a hook like top of the three gen. It, yep. It'll be interesting. To see. And it was a pain resonance hook as well. Thanatophobia also made aware by that injury, so we know three of the perks so far. And oh my gosh, yeah, these these gens are so close here. Yeah, this is a very good RNG for the nurse. Absolutely. Like, they're in blinking distance of the actual shrine itself. You got two gens in line of sight. Got your hook right there, just cozied up. Corrupt just ending. So I imagine, you know, gens will start flying soon, but not soon enough. I think we're going to see a second phase here. Uh, most definitely. These survivors really have a tough choice to make. Do they want to send two into the save? Or do they want to do gens considering they have none done so far? Nurse opting to kick the gen with Pop Goes the Weasel being the last perk revealed just now. Actually, they missed the timer. Pop Goes the Weasel didn't activate, unfortunately. They almost got it. I could have sworn I saw the orange torch, though. Uh, the, so what happens is, is um, and I, I maybe, maybe I'm just praying to the choir. If the timer runs out before the animation ends, you don't quite get it. Ooh, Liper not able to stop the nurse from blinking. Flashlight on the nurse, yeah. Oh, they stopped the second blink, though. Yeah, nurse knows exactly what that flashlight user is doing. It is ignoring her, because that would definitely be their uh, Delhi Unbreak user, most most definitely, you know. Downing that uh, would be a waste of time. And But, the, I mean, you oh have to deal goodness. with that, though. Out in the open with the flashlight there, it's going to make this place so much longer with the firecracker from the Felix. These survivors are doing an amazing job keeping this nurse busy. I'm about to say, these survivors are absolutely juicing right now with the flashlight and the firecracker. One gen down, finally. Honestly, I think that's about as much as you could ask for on the survivor side. Yeah, they did a really good job. Did they? They got saved before second, I think, right? Yeah, they got saved before second here. Yeah. Two gens down. Two gens saved before second. Probably based on the flashlight getting their deli online too. Like this is a very strong start from our survivor, considering uh, how fast that first chase was. True. Really and pain res not popping any gens, so those had no other gen. No other gen had progress at this point. And yeah, there that strong three gen is broken now. It seems like. Yep, and this nurse just kind of holding off on the choke point here, but uh, the thing about Sanctum's choke point is there are two of them to hold, so... it's a good point. If the survivors get through the other side, not much you can do. Whiffing good on the Nia side. here. 
Yeah, Nia's Nia doing a great job. Chase. Yeah, really, really wants this nurse to chase her, although getting a free tag and then having the nurse drop chase, I don't know about that one, but uh, for with the, the uh, for the people coming in play as well. We'll see if we uh, get a tunnel here. It looks like we will. Survivors have the good tech, however, going to be taking a hit anyway, so not getting that much time. Nia is here, but not going to be enough as they do go down. Will there be a decisive strike? No, there will not, and so this Felix is gone. Dead at three gens with a three gen still intact. I mean, it's a looser three gen than the shrine. They did get the shrine gen oh, done, yeah, which was huge. Absolutely, mm -hmm. for for sure they uh, they did break the uh, the tight three gen. So, I mean, if this nurse can manage to get a hook though, like in between the, the three we have right now, it could be kind of rough. True, and it seems like this gen has a decent amount of progress, and like you said, now we're going to see that pop goes the weasel. Yeah, I, I just didn't see the spark last time. Maybe they did. I just didn't remember seeing it, but... Quentin... No, sorry, Ace. Is this Ace? I thought this was Ace. I can't tell who's who anymore. Survivors just look the same to me. Yeah, that is Ace. That's okay. Ace, yeah. They will be taking it. Yeah, just, it's so weird not having the chase music. Did you notice that uh, we have the the second phase hook music though? Uh, I don't think I noticed that actually. It, it, so That's weirdly enough, though. when we don't have chase music, the second stage hook music for a survivor plays during the killer. It's really weird. That is very strange. Pain res on the gen back there. So survivors are working on two separate gens on the three gen side, but now both these survivors are injured. Thanatophobia at fifteen percent. Oh, I did. I usually can't blink through that. I'm surprised they actually got that. Yeah. Uh, Nia <laughs> avoiding the nurse's swing here, taking the distance, and uh, this nurse is just honestly just hold the choke points. That's yep. all you really need to do here. They are going to be able to get this unhook possibly, though. Yeah, they are going to be able to get back here, but they're both injured in one tap here. Is there a borrow time? No borrow time on the ace either. Yeah, that Probably, burst down might yeah. be too strong. No DS either? No DS, wow. No BT save and on the toolbox, no DS. That is unique for sure. Mm -hmm. Pain res stopping the Nia from getting a little bit of progress there. And going to be doubling out. Absolutely clutch dead hard there. If they had gone yeah. down, that might have been lights out at three gens up. Yeah, without that dead hard, uh, this game would have been over. But uh, the nurse now knows where both survivors are, though. So. Mm -hmm going to be a bit of a struggle on the survivors and especially again just if you just hold these choke points they can't do the three gen and they can't get the save right yeah adam is able to heal up there and we did see scratch marks he is going to get this unhook and hopefully this one has borrowed time as this this ace might just be dead if there's no borrow time yeah they really need to get generated one for this town uh nurse no. waiting out the bt ah uh, they do they do see the bt then so balance landing maybe yeah is it going to be enough? AC is making use of it. Doubling back. Giving everything. They need more gens. It, maybe even one more gen could help out this team a little bit. Yeah, Ace is doing a phenomenal job of uh, making distance and wasting time. That was a mm -hmm. pretty long chase, all things considered. And we might be seeing one of the generators on the other side of the map get them, hopefully. But hopefully, again, yeah. if there's a Scourge hook, though, I mean... You never know. It looks like it might be a Scourge hook. Nurse opting to go for the further hook here. Skill check missed, I think. Yeah, there's the pain res. Yeah, that might be too much. I mean, with Ace gone, it's five plus percent slowdown. Adam is healed for five, so it's only 5% total slowdown here in a second, but yeah, there's only three pistons firing on this generator. It's not gonna be enough. And especially if they I have fly pop. Uh, yeah, with pop, this gen is, is, is pretty far gone. I think that the survivor's only chance here is if they still have their deli player alive, getting them found. If this is their deli, they're in a good spot here. But if not, this could be a 4K at three generators, which would be massive. Absolutely. Dead hard getting a little bit of extra distance there. If Nia can pop a gen, that's the... <sighs> I'm going to say, like, the wind condition here is going to be so tough. <laughs> Adam doing a really good job, though, extending this chase. That was more than I thought. Yeah, yeah, keeping a long chase here at the shack, and hopefully, I mean, if that knee has been on that gen all the way in the corner up there, uh, it would have some pretty decent progress by now, but Adam just needs to make sure to, he has a long enough chase that the gen gets done before the skirt shook, and not quite able to blink through, and it looks like Adam is keeping this chase going for even longer. 
about to say, it sounds like the Adam wanted to be chased first, and the Nia too. They just found the survivors that they didn't want being chased. I'm wondering if Deliverance might be out of the game already, possibly. It definitely is possible. Yeah, Adam just but, holding uh, it to the other side yeah. of the map. I think Nia should be able to finish a gen with this time. Absolutely, yeah. If this Nia has been working on a gen since the chase with the uh, ace, then it should be done anytime now. Be crucial for these survivors just to get even one more gen done. They were going to need it and go into this next trial. Ah! Adam going into the side, and they do finish that last gen. Is Yo. it going to be unbreakable? Yeah, that's the question. Now, if I'm the nurse, I'm probably thinking that the unbreakable is on the flashlight, considering how willing they were to just take hits and, and being the, the nurse with no fear. But uh, these survivors could have been doing some mind games. And it, it could be on their dead part. You never know. True. Will they be able to stealth out for long enough? There, there's so many variables here. Like you said, they, this is a good map for stealthing. They are injured, though, so they will be making noise. Well, maybe, I don't know. I, did, I didn't see if there's Iron Wall on this, uh, this Nia. I don't think there was. Yeah, I didn't notice either, but uh, either way, this nurse really has to find her. I mean, but good job so far. The survivors have done everything they can be in a 2v1 and against the nurse. Yeah, I mean, if this Nia was able to slip by and, and get the uh, oh. Adam up. Oh, no. Almost. And yeah, I think we would have seen an Unbreakable by now. Oh my goodness, I, I think she felt that one in the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A little bit of Pocos there would have extended that hit too, so... Mm -hmm. uh, Nia is definitely starting it out, but uh, I, I don't think there's much she can really do in this situation, unless she can somehow get the Adam up and she has nope. the Unbreakable, but it doesn't look like she can get there in time. I'm about to say, absolutely, I, I would say that's almost pixel-perfect second blinking. Just, I, I never get the same range out of a second blink. It's never, I just don't have the practice for it, but able to get that and now well now where's the atom oh there they go they found him there he is. yeah probably not enough time for unbreakable on the nia here probably not adam crawling away from her though so mm -hmm. trying to get the distance but i don't think it's gonna matter even with an unbreakable she does not have dead heart so right i don't think she'll be able to make it to hook and even then like maybe deliverance is about the only thing survivors have at this point yeah, yeah no, and again, if, if, if I'm the nurse, then I'm very aware that this Nia is probably the deli. And also, she did get first save, right? So yes. That's, that's another yes. sign, so, I mean. True. Yeah, waiting out for Adam to go to second phase here. Yeah, just being absolutely well, sure that Adam's not the deli. I guess you could technically... Yeah, you wait for second phase, yeah. You don't have to wait for the death phase, because even if you deli, you can wait out 60 seconds, hatch isn't over here. Yeah, there's, there's no chance. Just wait for a second. Okay. I, I, I'm, just, yeah. I, I'm running through the scenarios in my head. What are the chances to get out? But three gens, it's not it's not an impossible ask. Uh, No, it's for sure not impossible. As we saw here, the nurse had such an insanely good start. Mm -hmm. And if Adam hadn't had a good chase, then this would have been a 4K at three gens. So True. if the nurse on the other side of things here has really fast chases, it it's definitely possible based on the on their uh, map RNG. True. Are they going to wait for the death phase? Do they not want to let any kind of deliverance? Is there... Does the Nia have sprint burst? Would she be able to get to the shack? I'm not I, really sure what they're waiting for. I don't know if I would wait to death stage. <coughs> like, obviously you deny deliverance if it's death stage, but I, I would be very worried. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know I what the play here is. So I guess they're just trying to make absolute sure that the that they can't do anything but Nia crying to the pal. It, it's possible to see an unbreak pal stun, maybe? Oh, we can, we can dream. <laughs> it would be ballsy. Yeah, smash I mean, it it's when? all you really have left, but uh, uh, smash it versus nurse, of course. There you go. I mean, it'd be insane in that situation. True. Yeah, Adam, looks like they're going to be going to death. I don't think they're going to... If this Nia somehow gets hatch, I'm going to lose my mind. There's yeah, no but way, without, right? with, without the dead heart, there's no, yeah, and the pick. Yeah. Even if she is the deli, she can't deli off the hook, so it's right. just kind of... I mean, I, that, that is a bit more gambling than I'm willing to do as a killer, but it looks like it's going to pay off in the end. I, I would have just been scared of something there, but... Yeah, they, they just the really wanted to, to just be secure on that uh, 4K 2 gens, which is a strong result for a nurse, True. so... We'll have to see the other... Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be a nurse. It could be a Blight or a Spirit, but um, yeah. we'll see what their what their other killer can, can...
can do for this. And uh, looking at oh. uh, Nia did not have the deli, actually. It was, as you said, the first person yeah. that was killed. Wow. Hyper unfortunate. So they did have the they did have the, the borrow time. So there was another borrow time left in the game, but yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Unfortunate. That would have been interesting if the Atom had a kinship. And we're crawling towards yeah. that. That would have been interesting, actually. That would have made for a more interesting little end there. Yeah, definitely. We didn't see a DS in play at all, but it was on the ace, I think. Yeah. Did they miss decisive? I was thinking that that's possible. I don't... I think that they had an opportunity no to use way. it. No way. But I could be remembering wrong. Yeah, they should have. They Both both the first two survivors got tunneled off hook. Wow. All right. Well, that's lucky for the nurse. I... I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess we would have to hear from the back end, but that sounds like it might have been a missed DS, which is that that actually could have been game changing if they had got a DS just a mm -hmm. little bit more chase time. Nia was doing a really good job taking, you know, aggro as much as possible with yeah. the flashlight. So I don't know. I, I, I guess we'll I guess we'll hear it on the back end. But uh, regardless, a strong showing start for six and we'll see how uh, GBC is able to follow it up here in the final trial of the day. But with that said, we'll be getting that one started in uh, just a moment, hopefully sooner rather than later. But that'll be the last trial for today. And we'll see you guys in just a moment. So stay tuned.
All right, welcome back, everybody. My bad a little bit. We were actually ready to go a little bit ago. I did not get the memo, so we've just been sitting here enjoying conversation on the back end and uh, talking about some games in this upcoming one to boot. So we're going to load into the final trial of the day. I, we're both expecting it ours. If we see something different than a nurse, it'll be quite shocking because the you got to kill everybody before three gens. Yeah. Uh, Tall order. I mean, blight, blight potential, but Maybe. I'm guessing it's going to be a nurse. It's going to be a nurse, I think. I mean... Most likely. Do you have? I mean, it's definitely not going to be a spirit. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a spirit. I'm going to be even. Sh uh, I will. I will eat my hat. I don't have one, but. For real. However, yeah. finding they survivors found... seems high. Oh my gosh. It's like it's a perfect start. Yeah, getting a hit on Quentin right now. You saw where the other servers were. You know everybody's here. <laughs> Going into the corner. Yeah. Do you slug this person? You go for a hook. No, you hook this right away and go for a tunnel out. I mean, uh -oh. just whiffing a little bit. Probably just getting warmed up uh, first game for them, probably. Um, That's true. But I, I was going to say, as we saw, like, the Quentin was looking at the other side of the map when he was hearing the heartbeat. I don't know if you noticed that. He thought the nurse spawned on the other side, but didn't realize she was right behind him. And so that's why he got so, uh, hit so quickly. He was looking the wrong side. And so I've the fun shit going here onto the... Yeah, everyone's done that. I mean, you don't expect nurse to be on the same side as you on a map like this. With, True. Like, region map. Like, what, like it happens, but also, you don't expect it. Is this pain res? Because they're... 
Yeah, they, they skipped yeah. over uh, like two hooks, so. Yeah, I was gonna say. Central pain resin play, res. yeah, very uh, good hook to have there in your in your three gen. And considering the they haven't even started on the corrupted gens, we're gonna see a kick on the main gen here. Pop goes the weasel play in early for the, for the people. Very, very early, just trying to prevent this tunnel out as quickly as possible. We'll see if this group decides to go for the Lori or for the Quentin here. Looks like they're going for the Lori as Quentin went to the right. Yeah, this will be the tunnel, or not the tunnel, the, the uh, chase on the Lori. Lori, dead hard for wow. distance, barely dodging, and that would have been a pretty catastrophic down. That'd been very quick. Oh my goodness, does she have Iron Will? Uh, yeah, she does. sounds like she has Iron Will, Dead Hard for the people, and with the medkit there, probably Bobby. What a build, what a stack build. Absolutely. I mean, oh this my is goodness. your chaser. This is your chaser. You give them these perks and you have them go crazy, and it looks like this Lurie is really bringing that to the table here. Absolutely. Dropping the pallet and getting the grab over the top. However, a Shrine Gen is done. We might be seeing a second gen here pop as well, potentially. Only one stack of Thanatophobia. <laughs> Is Jen on the same side, and it looks like the nurse is going to be transitioning over there. I imagine this is the Quentin potentially, which wouldn't be a bad chase for them to take. Not at all. Uh, the one downside to this current situation they're in with their win condition is they can't just hold the three gen. They have True. to actually go out because they only need to pop three gens to win. So it's a very good point. Oh, this is tough. Quentin's popping their head out just a little bit too soon. I think if they hadn't moved, if they just kept still, the nurse would not have seen them. Yeah, I mean, wrong place, wrong time kind of situation, but this uh, True. nurse getting a little bit lost here the footsteps. Getting stuck, though. Oh. Collision on this map can be a little wonky sometimes. Though. I think it's a little bit of nerves, too. I, I have definitely yeah. quick blinked just a little bit too early. Absolutely, yeah. With, with, with the uh, situation and the winning condition they have, very, very good prediction uh, mm -hmm. down there. Didn't know which side the Quinton was going on, but was able to hit that. Um, I mean, there's Jen's cranking off in the distance, though, which I'm sure this nurse is aware of, which is exactly why she's going for this pain resi hook right now that we know is Scrooge. So, true. We'll see what happens from here on out. Very far corner, Jen. Not even bothering to go and pop the other Jen. Worried about this one on the side. Nobody in this area though. Yeah, I hear the hear the hear the second stage music. Oh yeah, I hear it. <laughs> it's such a that's, weird that's, thing. Yeah, that is very weird. How do you how do you bug that? I don't even know. How um, that happened. two words: spaghetti code. But True. that's it. Uh, did it? Was there a survivor here? I thought I saw someone peek out. Wasn't well, like they're going to let that gen in the distance go and go and pop this one instead? But it's like you said, they can't. They can't really afford to let too many go. They have to go and pressure one of these. Yeah, I mean, there's a very fair chance that these survivors are on all three of the gens on the other side of the map. <laughs> Which would be really bad for this nurse, considering True. she's confirming this death. It, it's, yeah, there's two oh, right back there to it back. Is. There it is. Lori is over here, though, so as of right now, the match will be tied. Yeah. I don't so... remember off the top of my head if there is tie, some kind of tiebreaker without doing a match yet. The refs will have to let me know about that in the back, but for now... Points are tied, assuming there is a 4K. If they get one more gen done, though, it is lights out. Yeah, this nurse is probably pretty aware of that. But kinship! Lori... I just realized that... Kinship, the... yeah. Ultra's just hanging in there with the kinship, getting the hit on the Lurie. As the nurse is aware, though, this Lurie does have the dead heart, so you're going to spend a lot more time in this chase than, than you might first realize, and uh, that gen could be getting worked on, but it looks oh. like she's getting hit before the dead heart can even come out. What gen's being and worked yeah. on? Is it this back one? Is it being doubled up on? If this gen's is being doubled, then the nurse is in a good spot here. Actually, could recover this game. They could. Oh, like, Quentin protecting to death. Is there an unbreakable potentially on the Lori? Yeah, I mean, if the Lori has unbreakable, then she would not have body knowledge. Uh, that's that's a tough call. They might be able to hold this down. Quick heal on that Meg. Maybe an inner healing? I don't that think they have a, the med kit. Yeah, that, that's my guess. Yeah, Medkit is on the Lurie here, so... Pain res? Surging, yeah, this gen all the way at the top, and so... Uh, just trying to find where the heal was. I'm guessing the heal was on the other side of the map, though. I say, they, they, they realize it's an inner healing, but a little bit too late. I don't think it would have been that one. This... The nurse has made somewhat of a recovery here. The pressure is on the survivors now, but... You could still just run to the other side of the map and get a gen done, maybe? I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, if these survivors are doubling the gen on the other side of the map, then this nurse is, uh, just needs to go over there as quickly as possible. But I, I think there's a decent chance that they're pressuring the hook and the gen at the same time. But uh, this is a 50-50 on the nurse's part here. This is quite the risk to be camping this, and I think she realizes that and is going to go to the other side of the map to just make sure that that gen doesn't get done. True, only 5% than out of Phobia. I think Kinship was quite literally backbreaking. They do get the save, and this is Claudette being chased off. Not able to get the light burn with the firecracker. It's going to get a hit here. We do know they're in a pain res area. Wait, no, the pain res hook is gone because Quentin died. Oh, true. This nurse does not have pain res and realizing that she has to slug. Yeah, she has to go back. However, 10% night might not be enough. The gen... Yeah, they do finish that yeah, last gen. And there it is. That is lights out here. And they had six a little bit of a window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six really coming in top. Like, they had such a strong start, but after the gen got interrupted that they were doubling, I thought this could have gone sideways quickly. Uh, same. Yeah, they do get the pickup, it looks like, on the, the Claudette, and Lori going down here will be death hook, but now you're just playing, uh, you're playing for pride, I guess you could say. <laughs> I was trying to think if there's a different word, but I'm, I'm kind of here for it. Yeah, I mean, in this situation, we see teams either mess around or try to, oh. you know, make the score not so wide. Yeah. Try to close the gap a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Claude saying, come on, let's go. And maybe because the, maybe Meg is going to jam out an adrenaline potentially. Nah, I think that the survivors are oh. happy to take their, uh, their W here. Yeah. Looks like Meg just gonna go for the last chase here with the yep. light burn. Uh, yeah, let's see how this chase goes. It's the final chase of the game. They are close Unless to check. It could be a 1v1. There could also be an unbreak on the quad out. You never True. know. True. Lithe coming in on this Meg. Will she hold the corner? She does, and she's gonna get a little bit of distance here. So I was just really, really well, uh, well equipped to deal with the, the nurse. Good early start for the nurse, but just it's a tall ask. When the survivors know, hey, sit on gens, gens before friends, it's hard to do much. Yeah, especially on a map like Sanctum that is all about holding uh, one side of the map. Mm -hmm. You'll only be able to hold down to one gen as we see the situation is here. You know, on a map like this, the result is probably going to be a 4k at one gen. So mm -hmm. getting a 4k at three gens is just such a hard condition to meet. Agreed. Absolutely. And again, well played by this nurse. They do get the 4k just one gen too late and... Six will be taking home the victory here and getting into Champs of the Fog Season 4 Deliverance on the Claudette as well. They're saying, get down. Oh, man. Imagine if the Claudette still has Unbreakable and is just holding it for after the Deliverance. I mean, that would be like galaxy brain right there, but... True. Nurse doesn't seem to really mind that risk considering the fact that the game is over now, but... Yep. You know, I would love to see an Unbreakable... Unbreakable Soul Guard would be kind of insane here. But I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. Yeah, they're just crawling back to the hook. It's like... Uh, just well played. Really, really well played by these survivors. Really well played by this nurse. Very close game. Yeah, for sure. Both teams played very well in this set. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, now, it, now it's just uh, waiting again. Do not, Kobe, if you do not have Deliverance. Very easy way to avoid a potential penalty. Should that 4% occur, nobody's going to be happy. And there we go, yeah. Progressing to death phase and just... I don't, I, not much to say, just really, really stellar play from both these teams. Good job. Yeah. GG was, uh, to... It was a fun game to watch. Yeah. GG's to GBC and congrats to Six. Congratulations. Indeed, and with that said, that will be the last match of the day. So thank you all for watching. It has been a pleasure to be here. I, I I feel like every time I cast with you, Jukebox, I just learn more and more about the game. And it has been an honor to be here with you. Uh, are you going to be streaming soon, you said? Uh, I really hope so, yeah. I really, really hope so. I, I'm, I'm planning on it. I'm planning on it. So you guys can uh, catch me over at uh, Jukebox DVD on Twitch. I play Plague, and I do scrims there, and potentially maybe looking to play some VHS or something on there. We'll have to see. So, you know, exciting stuff coming, yeah. 
I do in uh I, okay I was about to say I do enjoy some VHS I enjoy watching VHS VHS actually playing is a bit of a headache for me but it's a, it's a stressful game it's it's so different but I, I I can appreciate some diversity so I'm here for it but again thank you for casting with me it's been a pleasure we'll be back next week for qualifiers number three and four for season four Champions of the Fog I have been your host Little Burger and I'll be over a little a little bit later tonight on my own channel L I T T L E R U T W A R D or whatever the link is for the refs. Again, thank you to the refs as well. Makes our, makes our job on casting a lot easier. And with that said, we will see you all next week. Stay tuned, folks.